All right, boys. So as we all know, I've played a lot of doors, okay? But did you know that just instead of me playing doors, I've actually created doors? You see, I made a few different videos on this game called Doodle Transform, where I created different doors monsters and different doors items inside of the game. So today, I threw all those videos together, and this is me creating quite literally everything from doors. Me! Anyways, Doodle Transform is currently a game that is popping really hard amongst a bunch of different variety YouTubers. I need coins? Yeah, sure, dude. I'll draw coins instead. Man, I don't want... What do you make me draw this for? How did this guy do this? How did you make it so thick? And since you know your boy Demon's been pretty hard on the doors grind lately, I thought I'd go ahead and check out this Doodle Transform game, but turn myself into doors entities. So make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and comment down any other unique doors I ideas you guys have because i actually did get this from you guys so uh yeah thank you okay and i haven't even started to draw my own entities and i already found screech right here i mean i think this is screech it looks a lot like screech i really hope that's screech or i just insulted that dude's artwork oh no oh and then there's literally there's literally seek right there too there's no way that's not seek that's jeff oh it's jeffy boy i love you jeff okay but man seriously what are the odds oh my gosh but first things first that we gotta do is go ahead and find ourselves a rush uh, oh uh just uh ignore that I, that's not supposed to be there but we need to go ahead and find ourselves a rush reference okay we got the actual rush from the doors fandom right here i like it i like it and luckily enough we can actually get layers in this okay wait uh add more layer or more layer okay i think we need like three layers for this and on the first layer is going to be like our black background for rush go ahead and get this nice and big we just gotta go ahead and get that nice and a black smoky fog that rush emits mmm and then for a second layer, we just need to go ahead and paint in, like, the, the gray accents and whatnot, you know? Just, just you know, make it... Oh, God, this is... <laughs> This is why I don't draw digitally. Oh, no. But, uh, yeah, get in those, get in those gray accents. Oh, my God. I literally went to art school. What am I doing? Mm, look at that. It's like a, it's like a derpy little smiley face already. And then for our topmost layer, we just gotta go ahead and put in the final touches, which is, of course, you know, his teeth, you know? Oh, God, this is so bad. All right, but I think it's perfect. We have our rush drawing, boys. Go ahead and apply it. We are successfully rushed. Become a doodle award. Oh, yeah, listen to our rush scream. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Jeffy boy? What am I? Can you guess? Okay, and then what is this? Like, rush eating screech? What is going on over there? Rash? Why'd you call me Rash, bro? I don't got no rash. I am a rush, you dinglehead. And, oh, someone drew rainbow friends right here, except... I think he's just violently throwing up. Oh, oh, poor guy. Oh, no. Oh, and then someone else drew Piggy over here. But I think, I think my rush is way better than their Piggy. I don't know. I'll let you guys decide. Comment down below whose art is better. This is a beautiful rush right here. Or that. But look, boys, I'm speeding around just like Rush. Listen to my scream. Okay, and oh my god, what is that? You look like figure, but but noob. Why is there a hole in your chest? Why are you just glitching through reality? Oh my god. And then you're just... You're not even a draw. You're just straight ugly. Ew, look at that. Look at that big old tomato round face. Oh, wait. Is this an ambush? Someone drew ambush. Well, hey, that's what I was going to do next. So now I have to draw a better ambush than you. So once again, time to go ahead and search up our reference for our good old boy ambush. Ooh, do we do the red one or the original? I think we'll do, do the original for this one. So once again, we've got our canvas nice and clear. I think we're only going to need like maybe three layers for this one. I don't know. I'll do for just to be just to be safe all right boom we got like the the black accents to the face so far and then layer two is going to be our like green that he gives off yeah oh yeah okay this is looking good and then he did like have like a few parts where the green would show through like uh right here and right here and also like down here and down here okay boom there we go okay maybe just add in like a little bit more white just like right here just just connect the 
different parts, you know? Just just connect them up a bit. Connect them up a bit. And then all that's left is to add his little weird teefy teefies. Add all his little teeths. All his little ambush teefy teefies. Our ambush is set, boys! Oh my god, we look horrendous. Well, uh, hey, luckily I'm a YouTuber and not an artist. So let's go! Listen to our ambush scream. Yeah! We're scaring everybody. It seems there's actually a lot more people drawing horror characters in this game than I thought there would be. So, you know, this is actually an uncommon W. A very uncommon W. Okay, what are you? Are you okay? Did she not text you back? Bro is straight crying out one eye. Seeping out his inner evil from the other. Okay, and then what are you? Are you, uh, Garden of Ban Ban? I think that's Garden of Ban Ban. For real, everyone's becoming horror characters. Even that's Garden of Ban Ban too. That's the orange guy. And then that's Rainbow Friends over there. That one's actually pretty good. And then this is just someone's inner demon slowly escaping. You can tell that he thinks about harming people by... By the- you know what? It's just unhinged. You should already know this dude has problems. Oh my god, there's even that guy! I forgot who that guy is! But time to do the good old ambush zoom! But I mean, hey, can I at least go on the swing? Yeah, who said ambush can't have fun too? Okay, wait, the swing just won't move. I think I'm too fat. I think I'm, I'm too round. I'm too thick. I'm too thick. Do you want to give ambush some huggy wuggies? Do you want to give ambush some huggy wuggy woos? Ew, 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 ew. Uh oh, I've like, been spotted. Oh no. Right. I gotta go! <laughs> 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 I don't know what you're talking about. Who are you? I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm not that guy, bud. I am not that guy, bud. Oh, God. Oh, no. Don't let him escape. Where is he? I don't know. He's up there. He's up there. He's up there. Right there. Look up. You know what? While they all fight and uh, tremble over my existence, it's time to move on to our third and final entity. And you know, of course, I have to go with the classic A60. It would not be a Doors video without it. And I think the one I'm actually gonna go for is a little bit more challenging to draw, but it's gonna be this bad boy right here. So once again, our canvas is nice and clear and ready. Go ahead and start it out with our little bit of a blood red because, you know, A60's got that blood red to him. And we basically just gotta mix some, like, little bloody little blobs and then go ahead and mark the eyes right here as well man his eyes are like super close together okay oh no i made his eyes way too big okay well might as well make the other one big too then huh and then second layer i need to go ahead switch back to white and then add in the tp tp right there just put in this new tv tvs and you guys want to know something funny this is something my grandma used to say to me and now i'm gonna relay it on to you because i i don't why not it's part of the video now your teeth are tools not jewels but it makes no sense because you need them to like eat and stuff all right and then go ahead and put white for the eyes where they belong all right boom okay this looks like it's <laughs> straight out of a Turn out my nightmares. And then you can't forget the most important touch. Big ol' random black ball eyes. Alright, boom! There is our A60. Go ahead and apply. I am A60! Fear me! He wrote, I am a fan. Well, now you're on YouTube, Mr. Mr. Ceiling Fan. Listen to my A60 scream! Ah! Oh, wait, what is this? Is this Garden of Ban Ban 2? Or is this like Rainbow Friends 2? I can't tell. This one's like, looks like it's from both and then this dude's got some interesting artistic abilities looking like steve from minecraft hit the gym too hard oh my god you know i think our a60 turned out to be the best though i'm not even gonna lie our ambush and rush were kind of bushes but our a60 be looking clean for real i'm gonna watch your video right now you're watching my video right now yeah i'm about i'm about to did you smash the like button and hit subscribe with the bell notifications on yes bro yeah i think you guys should do what this guy's doing and hit the bell and also smash the like button okay and <laughs> what is that bro i was gonna point out that but what is that and then and then what are you just like a meatball I am, I am very conflicted by the things I am seeing in this game. This is definitely from someone who is tormented by their own thoughts. This person definitely sees something in the shadows of the darkness. I'm not even gonna lie. I, this dude's definitely traumatized. But you know, I think this is a pretty successful artistic spinoff to what we're usually used to in our videos. So if you want a part two, like the video and comment down below.
So the last time I played this game, I actually created doors entities inside of it. And well, you guys liked that video so much that you were commenting down below that I should do another part. So this time, instead of doing all the 2D entities, I'm gonna be doing the 3D entities this time. But first things first, make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and also comment down below if you want me to come back again and I don't know, do like the Jeff monsters or maybe monsters from floor two or whatever. I don't know. Comment down below. Let me know. But first things first, as always with these videos, I need to go ahead and find a reference for what I'm gonna do. Okay, that, that second one, I can I can explain. The first one, uh, <laughs> uh, not so much. But I think the first entity we're gonna do is Screech. Okay, that is definitely not Screech. Okay, ooh, this is a good little reference image right here. And as always, like last time, we gotta start out with our brand new canvas. Is that Screech too? But, uh, uh t -t what happened to Screech, bro? Okay, and then why is there a super thick Among Us? Oh! All right, but we've got our reference to the side for us. I think I'm actually gonna need, like, four layers for this one. I think I could actually just go ahead and put, like, a giant circle right here. Just start painting in his tendrils. Oh, God, this is hard. He's starting to look so bad. Okay, and then one final mini one right there. All right, bet. There we go. All right, boom. We got his little black oily body. Okay, I might actually need just one more layer. Oh, God, this is so bad. Oh, no. What am I doing to our boy Screech? Oh, no. This is literally so bad. This is such a bad start. Oh, God. I'm sorry, Screech. I'm so sorry. All right, and then put in his little teefy teefies. Oh, no. Oh, look at that. He's just all, he's all derpy and cute. Aw. Ripping down from his face, I guess. That just makes it look more like he's oily and wanting to rub things on you that... No, I'm not gonna finish that, actually. All right, and then boom. I think we have our Screech. Go ahead and apply this bad boy. Oh, my God. Look at us. Oh, we're a freak of nature. Yes. He said, yo, sick. What am I? Oh, my God. Is that another thick Among Us? But he's got, like, a little furry tail, too. Like, his cheeks right there and his tail right there. He said one sec. He really got to think about this. He he got he to gotta get it right. Oh, my God. Is that Garden of Ban Ban over there? Man's got some choppers on him. Oh, my God. You're Screech. Yes, that's right. I am Screech. Listen to my Screech. What am I? Oh, whoa. What is that? It looks like your inner demons are escaping. Like, you have voices inside your head. Your inner demons. Are you okay? Oh, and then this guy finally answered saying Screech. Yeah, good job, buddy. It's not like he already said it or anything. Oh, and then he said no. Okay, he's not okay. Wow. All right, but you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and save this. I'm gonna name it Scratch. Because <laughs> it's just self-explanatory. We're Scratch. Oh, Scratch. Create. All right, and I think we did pretty good on our Screech little drawing here. But I think it's time to pick it up a notch and do something a little bit more challenging. So we're gonna actually go ahead and do everyone's favorite. And we're gonna do figure from doors. Okay, what's a good little reference? That's a wonky looking figure. What happened? It's like someone punched your eyes in. Ugh. Okay, and <laughs> whoa! Screech butt instead of mouth, it's eyeball. And actually turns out little eye hole punch figure is like version one apparently. But I think I prefer version two right here. So this is gonna be our reference. But once again, for our new drawing, we need to go ahead and get rid of all these layers. And then we've got our reference to the side. I think I'm actually only gonna need, like, three layers for this one. First things first, we need to get, like, that good bloody flesh color that figure has. Is this? No, that is way too light. Yeah, I think this, this is a good color. Okay, wait, yeah, this, this is the color we're looking for. Alright, and just starting out, we gotta get the base of his body drawn out. So I'm gonna go ahead with the big circle for his head. Oh, that's actually a pretty decent circle. Comment W circle down below for real. All right. And then he has like kind of a rectangular body. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. He's got like a short and stubby little body and then get his like little stubby legs in there. His legs are definitely longer than this, but I am very limited with this tiny canvas. So we're, we're going to make your figure a little bit obese. <laughs> All right. And then get his little army arms drawn in with like the little stub he's got on the end. And then we're going to need a bit of a darker shade of the of the skin color for his big gaping mouth. All right, there we go. The empty abyss of his head. He doesn't really brush his teeth that much, you know, and it's kind of important to brush your teeth. So you guys better be brushing your teeth. So you get gum disease and little rats and stuff that live in your mouth. All right, let me go ahead and draw in his spiky little spiky teeth. I like this one. This might be one of the new favorites out of all the entities I've drawn. And then I'm pretty sure in the game, he has like little accents on his arms, like here and here, and then here and 
and here. But it doesn't really show it in the reference. But I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. All right, and then boom, there's our morbidly obese figure. <laughs> so once again, go ahead and apply that bad boy. Yeah, I'm figure. Listen to my figure. Oh! Okay, and is that another garden of Ban Ban? Why is your mouth gaping open like that? What are you trying to suck on here, huh? Oh, and then this person just said sub to X demon. Well, hey, you see what the drawing says? Hit that subscribe button. What am I? Figure. Figure? Figure? Is that obvious? Wrong. I am obese figure. <laughs> Actually, I want to save this one too. Create obese figure. Yes, I can put that as the name too. Let's go. Obese figure for the win. Listen to me stomping around. And oh god, what is that? Whoa, my, is that Pikachu? Is that Pikachu but traumatized? What? What did they do to Pikachu? Oh, Pikachu, I'm sorry. And then last but not least, we're gonna be doing another 3D entity that everyone knows. Oh, hey, how'd that get there? We're gonna be doing Seek from Doors. Yeah. Okay, and why does version one of Seek on the fandom look like that? That's not Seek. That is Sock. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and do the current version of version two. We've got our reference now. But I think this last one is honestly gonna be the easiest out of all of them. It's literally two main colors. I might go ahead and add in the red accents, but I'm not sure yet. But go ahead and get in Seek's little bald black oily head. The black goop of ooze that he is made out of. What is he made out of? What is that black stuff he's made out of? Does anyone know? Comment down below. And then this dude also has like a rectangular body. So go ahead and put that. And he's got some like wonky arm placements. Okay. Uh, interesting. One there. And then go ahead and put him his little stubby seek legs. There we go. Gotta go ahead and put in the little white part for his giant freaking eye. And then once again, another layer to put that. Okay, this is this is a little bit of seek, but bad. This is an actual seek. Oh, God. You know what? Maybe I could add in those, like, blood red accents on his body, though. You know, like, some right here. Some, like, right here. A little right here. Just a little bit of detail, you know? Just to make it a little bit more poppin'. You can barely see it, but you know it's there. And then, you know what? I don't think I can do any more than this. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. All right, now we've got our seek. Okay, you can barely see the blood red accents oh oh my god and what is this why are you just extra extruding how are you doing that huh <laughs> why are you laughing at my seek dude is it that bad are you for real is it that bad he said seek let me back on what are you trying to do to me buddy what are you trying to do behind me whoa back up i know i'm made out of oil but calm down no it's perfect no it's amazing there are true appreciators of artwork this is true talent right here no i'm just kidding i could have done like 10 times is better on this this is just horrible oh god okay and then is that huggy wuggy but just broken beyond repair what happened is that your intestines just extruding out what happened oh and then that's just another person's inner demons coming out at least it's pink but boom that is me creating some of the more known 3d entities from doors inside of doodle transform as i said in the intro if you guys want me to come back again with even more 3d entities or floor 2 or even fan made entities then let me know down below and with that being said make sure to smash that like like button hit subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video you've seen part one where i did 2d entities part two where i did 3d entities and now in part three i'm just i'm just kind of gonna do whatever i want to do to be honest maybe i'll do some jeff shop entities maybe i'll do some fan made entities but you know make sure to like and subscribe if you want a part four and comment down below who i should draw next okay and hold up how old is this kid bro what <laughs> what how old are you what the okay so i just loaded it and i hear an infant on the mic and it also looks like there's some other doors entities here as well already oh my god that is a really well-made drawing of rush holy oh my god it's even one of the doors from doors it's literally a door okay and well since this dude made depth right here i think i'm gonna go ahead and try and make depth myself too so time to go ahead and try and find a reference image oh uh how does this keep happening depth doors 
Okay, but you know, I think we're gonna go ahead and go with the OG image right here. So time to go ahead and start a new drawing. We've got our reference down on the side as always. And I think I'm just gonna need four layers for this bad boy. Starting out, we need to go ahead and get that crispy blue depth color. And then he's kind of like a little awkward egg. So just like go ahead and uh, draw in the little uh, shape of him. Okay, he's looking like a deformed walnut right now, but we'll, we'll fix that hopefully. And then go ahead and just fill her in. Okay, maybe I need to make him like a little bit more thick. Okay, boom, there we go. And then on the second layer, we need to add in some like darker details like around here and like around the around the head. Oh god, what am I what am I doing the depth? Oh no. Why do I always end up making these entities super scuff? Hey, you know, it's fine. It's fine. We just it's, it's part of the creative artistic uh process. Okay, and then boom, and then go ahead and get his uh big gaping mouth drawn in now too and then uh go ahead and put in the little white uh circles for the eyes now and then you know i think i just need to go ahead and put a little bit more details here and there some more shading and then i think we're chilling maybe like an even uh darker blue here and uh oh god i am so sorry Deb. i am butchering you so bad <laughs> some right here some right here this looks like just he's like traumatized like he he walked in on his parents late at night and he saw something he was not supposed to see and then go ahead and like uh even the darker blue right here make his mouth even more shaving <laughs> why does he look traumatized okay you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna stop here before i make it any worse go ahead and apply <laughs> yeah look at our depth here our depth roar how did you did that good i'm the magic man i do the do and then that bacon is just staring into the abyss oh my god someone made a60 whoa you guys should go ahead and comment down below who did the better drawing my little cringe traumatized depth drawing or this dude's amazing a60 okay and now that i did a fan made drawing i think i'm gonna go ahead and do an actual doors entity now but this one i just really want to do because it's very colorful there's so many options to pick from but i think again i'm gonna have to go with the og reference image right here and i think just to get this started i should just go ahead and uh put like one big giant eyeball per Purple circle here right all right got that filled in and then i kind of just gotta like make all the like extruding uh eye light tentacle things i don't really know what they are i'm gonna be honest with you like some of them are like super long and some of them are like super short i guess oh god this is so butchered <laughs> oh i literally went to art school what is wrong with me you know it's okay uh i just had too many big macs from mcdonald's he's, he's getting a little thick all right but boom went ahead and got those and now I just need to go ahead and make a bunch of little circles on this dude for all the eyes. Yeah. Dude, I feel like toddlers can literally draw better than me. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not gonna... Oh, no. Okay, but boom, got all the little white parts of the eyes down. And then there's so many different colored eyes. Like, like there's, like, blue ones. Like, here. And, like... Oh, my God. I gotta make this, like, super tiny. Like, like, super, super tiny. There's literally just, like, a bunch of different blue ones. And then there's also some, like like pink eyes like one right here and then since he has like that little fog around him i'm just gonna go ahead and brush in some fog here and there as well yeah brush in that eye fog the little uh, the little light shimmers and glimmers and whatnot and then boom i think we have our eyes now so go ahead once again apply this bad boy look at this voice i'm eyes listen to me whisper in your ear i'm not gonna lie i actually really like this one it's super colorful and unique and also with the little see-through parts it just adds a little bit to it too it's just super colorful and unique i love it demon have you gone to art class uh yeah yes why wow. oh look this dude did eyes too yes sir yes sir oh my god there's like a lot of people that draw doors entities in this game someone else did like rush over here but that looks like the super hard mode rush oh my god it's even rainbow friends it's green no way i think our eyes drawing turned out pretty well if i do say so myself and you know since we did an actual doors entity and he's purple i think it's time to go ahead and do a fan made entity that's purple which is this dude right here Agreed.
Oh my god, okay, this is just like a very fuzzy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this one as a reference. That one's way better. And you know, I think this one might be a little simpler to draw compared to the other eyes. It just looks like a bunch of different shades of purple, but it's more of like a, a violet purple. So go ahead and get our deep dark violet. And then I think we just need to go ahead and just make like a little... Oh wait, the opacity. We just need to make a little like wonky little circle, I think. Maybe make some like jagged edges or whatnot because he is kind of jagged like them crooked teeth he got down there. All right, boom, there we go. Go ahead and fill this bad boy in now. And then next layer is just like a slightly brighter purple. And then we need to go ahead and put like the big black abyss of his mouth right here. And then to finish it off, the easy peasily, just go ahead and draw in his little uh, jagged teeth. Just, he's got teeth all around apparently because I don't know, he angry. All right, and boom, there is our green. Simple as that. This one's actually pretty easy easy to make but you know go ahead and apply this bad boy yes sir we're green listen to me take a bite out of you it's the man behind the man behind the man behind the man behind the oh, man look at another rainbow friends drawing it's blue oh my god look it's x demon fan one who am i do you know x demon fan oh my god he got the drip on too he got on the hoodie which you know you can go ahead and get your hands on yourself in the link down in the description down below in my group oh my god even there's an entity drawn from the interminable rooms no way but yes guys i am greed don't you take my gold because i'm gonna bite you i'm nom, nom, nom. okay and then i don't know what entity that is uh go ahead and comment down below what you think that is but now it's time to move on to our last and final entity of the video and that last and final entity that i'm going to choose to draw is actually a fan favorite it's this guy right here el goblino look at this little cutie he's like X Demon Jr. We both got the ears and everything. And I think for this guy, it's actually, we're only gonna really need like, I don't know, four layers again. Oh God, please don't, please don't let me butcher this too bad. I need like that deep red color for him, but like not too bright of a red, but you know, it's, it's the noticeably red. I think this is a good, maybe a little bit brighter. Okay, boom. First, we need to go ahead and uh put his little head. Okay, that is horrible. I am deleting that. Goodbye. Put his little head right here. Yeah. And then his little goblino ear there. Goblino ear uh, there as well. And then go ahead and put his little uh, stubby little body. Oh no, what have I done? It's a little too thick. He's a little too thick. You know, it's fine. We're just gonna uh, have his little legs just go out this way. And then uh, another one uh, go out this way. Yeah. Oh my god, one of his legs is longer than the other. Uh, and then, you know, we're gonna make him, we're gonna make him be a little bit happy he's gonna be a little bit happy with his hands in the air like he just don't care yes sir uncommon goblino w let's go slowly but surely it's coming together i think i'm also gonna go ahead since he has like those slightly noticeable outlines around his eyes we're gonna put one right there and then also one right there and then next layer we're gonna start adding in his little glowy eyes yes sir oh my god this looks less like el goblino and more like the gremlin that hides under your bed at night if you don't like the video <laughs> what am i doing now goblino and boom there is our horribly drawn goblino go ahead and apply this bad boy yes sir <laughs> bro we made goblino a little thick too he also had one too many mcchickens oh and someone made dupe in the door no way it's like the open door and then dupe is just chilling inside and then that's like russia's cousin like i don't know it's like mischievous looking almost it's like a little demon that hides in your closet at night fun fact i actually made a video doing this with block streets on my other channel x demon if you want to go ahead and check that out but boom this was me drawing doors and entities inside of doodle transform part three and once again if there's any more entities you guys want me to draw go ahead and comment down below and let me know but with that being said make sure to smash that like button hit subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video that is, hands down, one of the most terrifying versions of Huggy Wuggy I have ever seen. 
so far, I have made about three separate videos on this game now where I have drawn different entities from doors inside of this game called the Doodle Transform. And then, you know, the other day, I was just scrolling through YouTube, right? Where I then came across this video right here. I created fake versions of doors item. So it seems my buddy Bushot has now taken the idea we've created and done it with the item. So today, I too am going to be creating a fake versions of doors items inside of Doodle Transform. So make sure to sit back, relax, smash that like button, and hit subscribe, and enjoy the art. Oh, and if you haven't already, you see this little guy on my shoulder right here? Yeah, you see me right here? This is my new ex-demon shoulder pal that you can now get your hands on. Buy me now! <laughs> The link down below in my group shop. All right, but I think for the first doors item that I'm gonna be creating is the most iconic one. That's right, I'm gonna be creating the crucifix. And I think for this crucifix, I'm only gonna need two layers, but I'm gonna do three because I kind of want to get extra artsy and detailed with it. And I'm gonna go ahead and start drawing it out identical to our little example with the three little knobs of the crucifix right here. Okay, oh god, this is, this is already starting to look a little wonky. And go ahead and draw it all the way down here again with the three little knobs. And go ahead and connect this down here. Okay, our crucifix is looking a little bit. Maybe, maybe I can fix that up real quick. Maybe just, uh, uh this. Okay, oh god, I'm breaking the crucifix. I haven't even crucified any entities and it's already breaking. Oh no! All right, boom, I got the base of the body. And now we need to go ahead and get the cross part of the crucifix right here. Ah! Ah! All right, I had to sneeze real quick. And then let me again add the little knobs of the crucifix uh, right there. And then also right there. All right, boom, I got the base of our crucifix down. And then I think behind it, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding the little electricity, you know, from doors with the crucifixes. It's got like a little electricity spurting out. And then for our final layer, which is on the all the way back, I'm gonna turn down the opacity and then add like the little glow of the crucifix crucifix all the way around here as well I add the glows all around it just for that extra pizzazz you know help it pop more and whatnot all right but boom i think that's actually pretty good i'm gonna go ahead and apply this bad boy and oh it doesn't even look that bad look we're a crucifix look how good our crucifix looks listen to it glimmering What am I? Can you guess? It's pretty obvious, but can you guess? Oh my god, is that Jumbo Josh from Garden of Ban Ban? And it's also the Squid Guy from Garden of Ban Ban. How cool would it be if you could crucify different monsters from different games? Like, you could crucify monsters from Rainbow Friends. You could crucify monsters from Garden of Ban Ban. All right, but now that I've created the first well-known item from Doors, it's time to create the most second sought-after item. The Tablet! Okay, and looking at this reference image, this actually might be a little more challenging to draw than I thought. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make a bunch of different layers while I'm at it. I'll start off with three. Starting out, we're gonna go ahead and get that light gray metal color that we need for the base of the tablet. What I think I'm gonna do is go ahead and draw out the base of the tablet, a bit of a little wonky rectangle, and then draw it all the way down here. Oh my god, this is like probably the strongest. This is probably like... Oh my god, these are like probably the straightest lines I've ever drawn ever in my life. Oh my god. Do you guys ever have that struggle when you're trying to draw something and you just can't get your line straight? Like, that's just so annoying. All right, but boom, we've got the base of our tablet. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add a bit more detail to the tablet. It seems on like the right of the tablet, it has like a lighter gray. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw this in right over here. Here. And now for our next layers, I'm gonna go ahead and draw in the buttons over here. Starting off with the first green button right here on top. And then followed up with the red button over here on top as well. Okay. And then now we need a bit of like a ghostly green similar to ambush. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw in the base of the screen. Since a bit of a darker green, you know, that fuzzy part, you know, you look through to find the items. Smash that like button if these are some dumb. W straight.
straight lines, boys. All right, boom. I think I got the base of the tablet screen right here. Go ahead and color this bad boy in. Yes, sir. And then create a new layer. We're gonna make our green the brightest it can possibly be. And as you can see on the tablet, it has like that like light green outline on the screen. So I'm gonna try and draw that in. It doesn't go all the way to the corners, but it like it's basically there. You know what I mean? So one line there, another line here. I'm drawing so steady right now. I'm trying not to mess this up. And then connect the lines all the way over here. All right, boom. And then, oh, I kind of want to add more detail. Turn down the opacity and then maybe I can get like that screen glow around the around the corners maybe. Okay, that opacity. Ooh, wait, actually, not too bad. Maybe a little bit more in the corners where it's a bit brighter because, you know, it's got that fuzz on the screen. So we have to pay attention to detail. Go ahead and draw in the square for the battery and then it's like one, two, three, four. <laughs> four battery lines right there and then it has text in the corner but that's just like way too small to draw so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna add like squiggles I feel like we all just add squiggles when we're trying to add text to our artwork but not actually put text and you know i think this is the best it's gonna get this is our tablet boys go ahead and apply it and oh look at this we drew the tablet from doors bro this is clean Sheesh. Oh my god, I actually really like this drawing. Oh my god, it looks so good, boys. And whoa, that's a really good drawing, too. Wait, is that from Garden of Ban Ban 2? Am I tripping? Wait, do you guys know what this monster is right here? Go ahead and comment down below. What am I, boys? He said, oh, gee, the tablet from doors. And then all this dude wrote sub to X, demon. I mean, hey, if you guys haven't smashed that subscribe button already, go ahead and do that right now. Oh, and then this dude, this dude draw me. Is that supposed to be me? I don't- is that me but French with like the little French cap? And for the next drawing, I think we're gonna be creating the skeleton key! Okay, now drawing this is gonna be a bit of a challenge. You know, we've got a reference down there in the corner, but I'm not gonna lie, boys, I've- I've never been good at drawing, uh, skeleton faces, like, ever. So, what I think I'm gonna do is go ahead and get that, like, bony yellow color. I think this is good. Maybe a bit brighter. And then, oh my god, I hope I don't butcher this. Oh no. So, it's, like, a bit of a round shape right here. And then it, like, comes down a bit on the sides. And then, like, a sharp, jagged inward right there and there. And then it comes down to the, to the skeleton mouth right there as well. Okay. Our skeleton head's looking a little bit buff. Our skeleton head's looking a little bit scuffed, but I think once we start adding detail, it'll look a lot better. And then just go ahead and try to draw in that key part. So it goes like right down here. Oh God. Okay, that, that was horrible. Okay, goodbye. I'm racing you. Like right down here. Then like it cuts off right here with a bit like of a nub on the end. Okay, go ahead and fill this in. All right. And then we have like that key part down here, which is like this. It goes inward and like slopes upward a bit. Okay, go ahead and fill that in now. Okay, still looking a little bit rough, but I think once we start adding in the details, it'll look a lot better. First, I'm gonna start adding in a bit of the highlights on the key. A highlight right here, just to give it a little bit more depth. And it also has like a bit of lighter shading right here for even more depth. Okay, let me move that down. And then I think what I'm gonna do is add in the details of the skeleton key. So like... And then we just need to add in the details of the skeleton face. So add in like his little teethy teethies right there. Add in like the details around the eyes to make it look more like a key. Oh my god, now he look angry. You know, I think I'm gonna call it here. I don't want to make it look any worse than it already does. So once again, go ahead, apply this bad boy. And oh, it's actually not even that bad. It actually looks like the skeleton key. Oh my god, and there's like a little eagle right there. Wait, hold up. Let me rizz her up real quick. I have the key to your heart. May oh, I can't say marry me. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, uh, I'm not, I'm not gonna go any further. She said, 
Um, and this dude said, what the, with that little wonky face. This is a joke. This is a joke. It's the skull from doors to open the skull room. And then what are you? Are you like a pet from Pet Simulator? I don't even, I don't even know what you are. Oh God, what are you doing? What are you doing? Pause. And now last but not least for our final drawing, I'm going to be making the gummy flashlight. And oh my God, looking at that reference image there. There is a lot more detail than I thought there would be. You know what? With every drawing, we just gotta start off with the base of our image. So, go ahead and draw in that, like, circular part of the flashlight. And then draw this down right here. And connect it right there. Maybe make it a little bit more thicker, alright? And then the handle of the flashlight is just a little bit thinner than the head of the flashlight. So, go ahead and do that. Alright, and now go ahead and fill this bad boy in! Let him cook! Let him cook! Alright, boom, got that filled in. And then I think what I'm gonna go ahead and get out of the way is the head of the flashlight. So go ahead and draw in the actual flashlight part, which is right there, and then fill that in. And then make it a bit darker, because inside the flashlight, there's like the, the base part of the flashlight, which is like the little, I don't know, like the actual battery of it. So draw this right here, and then it extends up a little bit more right here as well. And then also, there's another darker part, like, right here. Alright, boom, there we go. And then for the rest of the details, it's actually, like, a fully brighter version of our actual green. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and move this layer down, draw in this part over here, which goes all the way up into the light. Oh god, our, gr our lighter green's going over our white. Hold on, let me move this all the way to the top. Okay, boom, go ahead and fill this in, alright. And then there's also, like, lighter parts on it right here. I think this is, like, the switch part of the flashlight. We, like, turn it on and off. And then, I think, last but not least, all we need is to just add the glow behind it. I'm gonna get a real big brush, turn the opacity down, and just start adding glows outside the flashlight all the way around it. Because, you know, that gummy flashlight be glowing everywhere. It's got- it's nice and bright. And then go ahead, apply this bad boy, and boom! Look at our gummy flashlight! Light. It's shining bright. Don't worry, guys. I'll be the light in all your lives. And oh my god, that is a really good drawing of Sans. Oh, he he became not Sans. Now he's just emo. Okay. Uh, R.I.P. Sans. In the arms of the angel. Leave me alone! Ah! Alright boys, you already saw part one where I went on this game and made the skeleton key, crucifix, and tablet from doors. And now today, I'm coming back and I'm gonna be creating even more doors items. And I bet you can't even guess which ones I'm gonna be creating. Comment down below if you already know. But with that being said, make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and enjoy the doors drawing. Alright boys, and since last video, I started out making the crucifix from doors. And you know, that's pretty holy and all. I think for this video, I'm gonna start off with making the holy bomb from doors. I'm excited for this one. So as always, starting off with every drawing, we gotta go ahead and get our blank canvas ready. And then we've got our nice little reference image down in the corner here. I think I'm only gonna need like maybe two or three layers for this one. So I think what I wanna start out with is making my brush super thick. Cause you know, X-Demon likes some thick. <laughs> and then go ahead, start off with drawing the big circular body of the holy bomb. I think starting off, this might be one of our simpler drawings in this video. I'm not gonna lie, boys. Okay, and now that we have the circular body we can go ahead to the next layer now and now we're gonna need like a yellow color we can already go ahead and get like that cross stripe going through the middle and whatnot and then go ahead and make our brush a little bit smaller so we can go ahead and draw that like tiny little dome on top of the holy bomb and oh my god why am i just not realizing that this tiny dome looks so wrong oh no oh god do you guys know what i'm talking about oh no <laughs> okay and then now all we need to do is just draw up here the little starting base of the cross. Okay, our cross is looking a little bit wonky, but you know, I think it's not too bad. And then what I think we can do on our third layer is start adding in some like shadows and shading. So maybe like a line right here, then some shading over here and on here. And then we can also go ahead and sample our original yellow color, create a new layer, and also brush in some shadows on this as well. Okay, not looking too bad so far. All right, and then let me go ahead and apply this bad boy. And oh, 
Ooh, that doesn't even look too bad. Why does it look like there's a totem of undying on top of us? It doesn't even look like a cross. It looks like a totem of undying from Minecraft. Except the holy bomb kind of does the opposite of the totem of undying. Instead of uh, keeping you alive, it uh, explodes everyone in its vicinity. Oh, this dude already knows what it is. He said holy grenade. Yes, sir. Can I explode on you guys? Happy face. He said, yeah, sure. All right, stand back, buddy. Here I come. Alright, but boom boys, we became the holy bomb from doors. Look at that. First drawing already down. It's already a W. And now I think it's time to go ahead and move on to our next drawing. And since last video, we made a rare item like the skeleton key from doors. I think in today's video, we're gonna make an even more rare item. And we're gonna make the shears. <laughs> All right, so once again, time to clear our canvas. Get it all nice and clean for our next drawing. Okay, and how am I gonna start this out? Oh, God. I don't even know how many layers I'm gonna need for this. Let me make, like, four or five. Oh, no. This one might be a little bit more complex compared to the Holy Bomb, boys. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, what I think I can do, actually, is just start off with, like, the base of, like, the handle. So, like, one handle right here. Okay, wait. Is that too long? I don't know if that's too long. I don't think it's too long. And then go ahead and put another handle, like, right here, right? Yeah, okay, that works. And then on the layer above it, we can do some, like, shading onto the handle already. Just a little bit lighter to show, like, the lighting on it and whatnot. Just give it some three-dimensional depth. By the way, boys, have you liked my drawing style that I've used in all of these Doris drawings videos that I've made? Go ahead and like the video and comment down below and let me know. Because I don't know if I'm good at drawing or not. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, but now that we have the handles, we can go onto our third layer. And, like, draw in the little metal part to get the little blades on each handle, right? You know, it's like a little gray whatnot. Not. And then the metal is kind of like a mix between gray and brown. So I don't know. How would I do this? Let me go ahead and draw the first blade coming out here. And then it's like the blades are kind of weird. They're like a little bit thicker at the base. But then like near the end, that's when they turn into the actual blade. Okay. Oh, no. Our blade is looking a little, a little dull. Oh, God. Okay. Wait. Can I make that better? We need our blade to be just a little bit sharper. Okay. That's way better. And let's go ahead and make the second blade a little bit darker just to show depth between the two blades and then the second one comes all the way up here and then again points down but then like kind of curves in kind of okay our shears is looking a little wonky oh no one looks like an actual blade and one looks like a spatula oh god okay but it's fine we can still save this and then go ahead on the new layer and get some shading going on here let me move this layer down so it's not as wonky and then on this layer we can sample our original color make it a bit brighter and add some shading here and honestly boys i think this is the best it's gonna get it actually doesn't look too bad so let me go ahead and apply this now and oh look boys we became the shears from doors this is actually really clean oh my god this little furry said yo shears need a trim a little furry your, your hair is looking a little overgrown on your face right there i'm not gonna lie he said yes sir all right get ready little furry here i come <laughs> Okay, but I'm not gonna lie, boys. This cheers drawing actually came out really clean. I actually really, really like it. You know, sometimes it's the simpler things in life that you gotta appreciate more. You know what I'm saying? All right, and now, boys, for our third drawing, since in the original video, we did the gummy flashlight, I think in this video, we're gonna do the actual flashlight. So time to clear the canvas again! And yes, boys, I know I'm not saving any of these drawings, okay? That's just the true beauty of art. You have to destroy your creation in order to truly appreciate it. All right, so I think starting out, we're gonna need, like, probably four layers for this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start off with, like, that normal base black color. Let me go ahead and get, like, a little shade here. Is this good? Eh, I think it needs to be a little bit duller. Is this good? Okay, wait, a little bit darker. Okay, yeah, now that looks like the reference image all right so starting off we're gonna go ahead and create like the base body of the flashlight like down here and then draw it up okay boom there we go color this in then for like the head of the flashlight it's kind of wonky it's like kind of like a half circle like a cereal bowl and then like 
continues over like this. All right, go ahead, fill that in now. And then I think starting out on our very top layer over here, I'm actually gonna go ahead and put in the bright light already. So I think I'm gonna do like whitish yellow right here. Okay, draw it in like that. Okay, boom. Okay, oh no, wait, that looks really wonky. Okay, hold on, let me just uh, let me just uh, do this real quick. And then draw it in like that. Okay, way better, way better. Bro, it's looking like a microphone and not a flashlight. I'm not even gonna lie. Hold on, let me make like the base of the flashlight a little bit thicker right here. And then I think the only way to truly make this look more like a flashlight is if we add in the shading. So a bit of a darker brown, purple, black, whatever the heck this is over here. And then on the layer above that, get a brighter purple black to put here as well. And then do that over here. And then make a new layer and grab that original normal black we had. And then we just draw in the little switch right here. And then for extra detail, we're gonna make our opacity a bit lower. Get this yellow over here. And then we're just gonna draw in a bunch of yellow for lighting. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, and before I make this any worse, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it. Okay, boom. There we go. Why does this look like a like a microphone with popcorn? What? Oh, no. Oh, God. This might be... He said, bro, what? Oh, but this dude said, that's my fave item. Oh, yeah? What am I? Can you guess? Can you guess what I am then, huh? Oh, they're all saying flashlight. He's even jumping around saying flashlight. He's excited. Oh, he actually drew the crucifix. Okay, but not gonna lie, boys. This flashlight is not the best of my work, okay? This is, uh, <laughs> this is a little bit rough. I'm not gonna lie. But hopefully for our one final item that we're drawing, I can pull through. And for the final item, boys, I'm gonna be creating the mystical candle. Okay, this cannot be too hard, right? This cannot be hard to do. This has to be easy, right? Right? Okay, I got this. I can do this. I can do this. I think starting out, we just need to get that base brown color. Make our brush a little bit smaller. Draw in the little disc form shape of like the little holder that it has. And then draw it down here a little bit more too. And then it also has like another part that goes down. What here? Wait, what is that? What? Is, what? Why has the handle got two bases? Okay, wait, quickly. Let me make a new layer. Make this brown darker and then shade in that darker part of the holder right here here. I'm gonna take that base brown color and make it a bit more dull because it seems like in the in the base of the holder, it's actually a bit duller. Hold on, let me make it brighter too. Okay, let me draw this in right here. Okay, bet, bet. Alright, and boom, we got the base down. Now all we need to do is draw the actual candle. Oh, and then this dude just got kicked for false vote kicking. Oh man, he just got- Oh god, he's gone. Oh man, he stood no chance. Dang! Okay, but I think I have like the waxy yellow color, so so let me go ahead and start drawing in the candle body all the way up here. It's like a little bit thinner at the top, but thicker at the base, which is also exactly how I like my women, so W. And then let me go ahead and make this a bit lighter so I can add in some shading on the wax, just like the image right here. By the way, boys, I kind of want to see you guys make your own doors drawings. So you should definitely go ahead and try making your own video and link this video at the end of your videos. Just a slight W. Let's start a trend. Okay, but now that we have the base of the candle, let me get back to our brown color. Make our brush super thin. The little wick of the candle candle right here and now all we need to do is draw our little flame which looks like it's like a bit blue at the bottom right but then it immediately goes yellow at the top so let me do that and then make another layer make the opacity a less and then similar to our flashlight we're just gonna go ahead and brush in a bunch of yellow onto the candle for lighting okay boom there we go and then last but not least, because I almost forgot, and I bet a bunch of you guys are like, oh, Demon's gonna forget. I gotta put in the handle of the candle. All right, and then boom, there we go. Let me apply this bad boy. And boom, boys, I became the candle. Oh my God, this dude's grimace. What the heck? Oh my God, look how clean this is. Shoot. This drawing is a W. Oh my god. Smash that like button if you agree. But boom, boys. That was me creating even more doors items inside of Doodle Transform on Roblox. And with that being said, make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and comment down below for more doors videos.
All right, so you've seen me do a few videos on this game called Doodle Transform, where I create a bunch of different doors entities inside of this game. And you know, those videos are pretty unique, you know, pretty fun and quirky. So today, I'm gonna be checking out this new game called the AI Outfit Creator, and I'm gonna be creating some doors outfits inside of this game. So make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and comment down below for more doors videos. And I think for the first entity that we should make an outfit for is our good old boy, Seek. And why is there another furry thing over here? But it's like an emo furry. Oh my god, he became an actual furry! <laughs> okay, but we've got our reference down on the side here. I'm gonna go ahead and start off by just simply typing seek into the little generator. Okay, what the... Why do we got hair? Why do we... Why do we got dangerous all over our body? Okay, you know, I like the black head. I like the seek eye. And I like the eyes around me. So I'm gonna lock these and keep them. But I'm not digging the body type or the... Or the a little weird uh shirt with a dangerous so i'm gonna go ahead and refresh it can i get anything better please okay why do i have bacon hair now what the oh and i just noticed there's like a whole dora squad in this game what the dora one dora two dora three dora four oh my god why is there so many doors in this game okay wait we're getting somewhere we're getting somewhere i like the little black with red accents on the pants i don't know if you guys can tell but it actually matches the mask that has some red accents so i'm gonna go ahead and save these pants okay i wonder if i can keep running it through oh i did i got a matching shirt now too go ahead and lock that bad boy okay you know what I like it. I like it. But, you know, maybe the body type would help because Seek is a bit of a, of a skinny and scrawny boy. So maybe we should try and get some type of body type up in here. Okay, well, maybe the maybe the boy 3.0 body type can work. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and lock all of these. And then go ahead and get rid of the hair. And the boom! I think we have our Seek outfit! Listen to our Seek scream! I think I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with this outfit. So how do how do I how do I save outfit? Okay, boom. We got seek. We got our seek outfit right there. And now that we've created seek inside of this game, it's time to create another familiar entity. Our boy figure. Okay, now I'm just a uh, black abyss avatar. Well, I made void. I made void entity that I wasn't even trying. Boom, a bonus entity. So once again, go down here. Just type out figure. Simple enough to start with. Okay, ooh -hoo. Okay, but once again, I think I do like the boy body. So I'm gonna go ahead and save these for figure. Okay, but I don't like the weird head this one is. I'm gonna go ahead and re-roll. Come on, give me a better figure head. Okay, ooh, I like the rib cage. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. But the shirt, pants, hair, and the hat just are not it. But I will save this black head as well. Hey, come on. Give me a better figure head. Okay, is this the only figure head? Why does it have pimples? Is figure going through puberty or something? Okay, you know, I'll just save this for now. Come on, re-roll. Why does figure have hair now? What the? What are you looking at back there? You traumatized for my figure outfit? You, you hear- you seeing demons in the dark? You seeing demons in the night? Come on, give me matching pants! Oh, I got matching pants! Okay, but there seriously has to be a better figure hat than this. Okay, hold on. I bet I could find a better figure hat if I go ahead and save this real quick. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and load into the actual Doors game because I think they have UGC inside of this game. Okay, come on. Where is it? In the shop. Where is UGC? Oh, it is the one with the pimples. Okay, I'm just... I'm just stupid. Okay, wow. Okay, so I guess this is all we can really do with this. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and get rid of that. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and get rid of the body because it was making the hands all weird and weird looking. But I'm gonna go ahead and lock all of these. And oh, hey, how'd that get there down there? Eh? Like the video. Okay, but if we can't get a better looking figure hat, then we need to go ahead and try and find some shirt and pants that at least match. I'm gonna go ahead and toss those. And time to start re-rolling. Cue the re-roll montage. Okay, well, actually didn't even need the montage. I got them easy as that. Okay. And now, boom! Here's our figure outfit inside of the game. Listen to our figure roar. And listen to my figure stomps around the map. And you know, I think this is a pretty W figure outfit. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, wait, why is there just a bunch of people with the red umbrella thingies now? What the? Is this the red crew? Can I, can I be part of your crew? Can I be a part of the red crew? Please, 
pretty, please. You wouldn't say no to a beautiful meaty boy like me. Okay, well, oh, I think they disbanded. Now they're now they're the blue crew. Oh my god, and someone made Thomas the train, but spider. That's like Charles the choo-choo train. Oh no. And now that I've made our figure outfit, it's time to move on to our last outfit. We're gonna make another fan favorite, El Goblino. Oh yeah, if you hear me scrambling around out there somewhere, don't be alarmed, dude. The guy's gotta eat. All right, so once again, we need to go ahead and toss all of our stuff in our outfit. And then I think if I just type El Goblino, that, that should roll it, right? Okay, oh, oh, oh no, what am I? What is this? <laughs> XD. Okay, oh no, it's turning me into an actual goblin ever. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> what the? Oh, that's nightmare fuel right there. Okay, uh, what if I type goblino from doors? Okay, goblino of doors. Okay, well, now it's making me figure. Okay, uh... Oh god, this is this is getting worse by the second. Now I'm an emo goblin. Oh no. Okay, on the Roblox marketplace, it is literally El Goblino head, El Goblino tail, an El Goblino shoulder buddy. I think this one might just be a little bit more difficult to create. So I'm gonna have to get a little more specific. If I like do it exactly how it is on the catalog. Okay, what the heck? I even tried to put El Goblino head and I got a horse. I don't I don't think this is El Goblino. Okay, and then I ended up accidentally creating Screech. I, I don't know how I got here, but uh, another bonus entity! Plus one entity! So, you know, uh, not gonna like, just, you know, not save this and whatnot. I'm just gonna title this uh, Seek real quick. Boom, there we go. And then I put El Goblino from doors and I got a freaking closet. How do I, how am I ending up with literally everything but what I want, bro? But I, but I mean, uh, this is gonna, uh, just do that, you know, closet from doors and whatnot. Save outfit. Okay, but imagine I put like furry down here, right? And I create, it's gonna make me a furry. Eh, eh, uh, I hate this game. What the heck? Okay, wait, I put Red Goblin. I got the ears. Okay, wait, we're making progress. I got the ears. You know, the more the more I cycle through these, uh, the, the more sanity I lose. Why isn't this game just giving me? Please, please, dude. You're making this harder than it needs to be. Please, please. What the heck? There's, there's even like a little search thing with items, right? You think that's gonna be a search thing? I, I click on different things. I'm clicking the different things. Where's the search bar? Where's the search bar? Okay, and now it turned me into an emo goth girl mommy. Okay, I don't... I don't think it's possible to create El Goblino in this game. No! But boom, that was me creating Doors Entity Outfit inside of this AI outfit generator thingy. If you guys want me to come back and try and make even more entities in this game, make sure to go ahead and comment down below. And with that being said, make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.